All right, guys, we're always talking about barbecue, right? We're always doing, you know, the briskets and the ribs and all of that stuff, and it's all heavy. Well, you know what? You don't always want to do the heavy stuff, right? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to keep it light and fresh. We're going to do an aromatic stuffed tilapia on the grill. That's right, fish on the grill today, right here on the Dogfather's Barbecue YouTube channel. Let's go. All right, guys, so that's right. Today we're gonna keep it light and fresh. Uh, sometimes we don't wanna, you know, do the whole heavy stuff, but we still like to cook outside on the grill. So today would be a perfect opportunity for us to put some fish on the grill uh, with a nice little Caesar salad on the side. So let's get into this. All right, gang, so we got our tilapia here and I just got a couple of uh, tilapia that I got from my uh, local Costco here and they're already clean for us. Uh, they're open, ready for us to get them a seasoned away and everything. So. I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep this tilapia. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I want to make slits in my uh, fish here on the side because that helps to uh, get those flavors penetrated into the fish a lot easier. So what we're going to do is just going to flip up the fin here so I can get my knife right there on the side underneath it. And I'm just going to make a slice there, just going down to the bone. Then I'll come down probably about, I don't know, about an inch, inch and a half maybe and we'll make another slit. And I'm just gonna put three slits on this side of the fish. Flip it over, do the same thing on this side. Now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and get some seasoning put into this. And today, my base layer is gonna be this Victory Lane Jalapeno Seasonal. So we're gonna get some of that sprinkled into here. Just gonna sprinkle some all over and inside the fish here. So next we're gonna use the Sweet Smoky Joe's and this is gonna be the fish and seafood seasoning. So we're gonna sprinkle some of that in. And you kinda wanna make sure you get those slits opened up so you can get some in there. Then we're gonna just sprinkle all over. Remember to get some inside too. Okay, now that I got this fish seasoned, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some dill inside this fish. And so what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna cut the little stems off here, just so I can take this and uh, stuff it right inside the cavity of this fish here. It's a great aromatic to use uh, when you're gonna grill up some fish. So next up after the deal, guys, we gotta get some lemon in here, right? So we're gonna take some, uh, lemon slices, we're gonna lay it right inside there. And pretty much guys, this is all we're gonna do to prepare this fish to go on the grill. You know, we'll touch up the seasoning before we get it on, but that's gonna be pretty much it. So I'm gonna get this other tilapia seasoned up and get it stuffed and we'll be ready to get it on the grill, all right? All right guys, so hey, our weapon of choice today. We're gonna use our uh, Louisiana Grills Black Label 1200. Today I've got this thing fired up. We set it to about 300 degrees and uh, we got our grill grates put onto the grill. We're also gonna be using the B&B &B brand apple flavored uh, wood pellets for this cook. So let's get this uh, fish on the grill, all right? All right guys, so we're at the grill and uh, man, we're gonna get this thing cracked open and uh, let's go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I spray down my grill grates here just to get a little extra oil on here. And now we're just going to go ahead and place our fish on. All right guys, so just like that, we just got our fish put onto our grill. Uh, you know, the finishing temperature or done temperature internal for fish is 145 degrees. Um, no, I know we're gonna pay attention to that, but I'm also gonna be paying attention to the skin because I kind of want to see if I can get this skin to crisp up for us. So we're gonna let this uh, absorb a little of that apple flavored smoke and uh, cook this fish. So I'll bring you back here in a little bit, all right? 
Hey guys, I'm glad you're enjoying the video so far, but I just wanted to take the time to remind you that, hey, if you're not a member of the Dogfather's Barbecue YouTube channel, uh, you might wanna click on that join button down there next to the subscribe button. That is gonna put you into an exclusive group that's uh, entitled to everything behind the scenes. That's right, all kinds of things that I do when I'm filming my videos, when I'm doing private cooks, when I'm doing things here on Barbecue Boulevard at Pellet Grill Plaza, I'm gonna bring you guys along so you can see everything that goes on behind the scenes we'll have our own little uh, private streams we'll do our own private cooks we'll have a lot of fun just getting to do a lot of things barbecue guys so hey again if you're not a member of the channel click on that join button today all right all right back to the video all right guys so hey this fish has been on now for about 10 15 minutes and one of the benefits of having this louisiana grills black label 1200 is i can go from smoking to grilling with one movement of one lever. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our grill ports here and uh, we're gonna start to get this fish grilling, all right? All right guys, so let's recap what we did with today's fish. Today we're keeping this whole cook just light and fresh. We got us some uh, whole tilapia from our local Costco. It's already been dressed for us, so pretty much all we have to do is prep it for the grill. So again, today's cook was really fast from the time we got it onto the grill to the time we're pulling off, it was about 30 minutes. But what we did was we put slits in the side of the fish so that our seasoning could kind of get down into that fish meat, flavor it all the way through. So we use Victory Lane Garlic Jalapeno Seasonal, and then we follow that up with Sweet Smoky Joe's Fish and Seafood Seasoning. We fired up our uh, Louisiana Grills Black Label 1200, and we use B&B Charcoal Pellets Apple Flavor. We put our grill grates onto our grill just so we could get some good hash marks onto the side of the fish. After we got the fish onto the grill, we smoked it in this apple smoke for about 15 minutes, at which point we opened up the grill ports on this Black Label 1200 and we kicked up the temperature. Roughly about seven minutes after we got the high heat grilling temperature going, uh, we got the fish flipped over where we've already achieved some really solid hash marks and the skin is crisping up nicely. After about another five to seven minutes, we went ahead and pulled that fish off and we let it rest. And now you're caught up on what happened with today's cook. So now guys, let's get over here and taste this fish, all right? Let's go. All right, gang, so here's our fish. Man, this was, like I said, it was a very fast and simple cook uh, and it came together very well. And uh, you know, man, it's, it's time to try this fish because it smells so good. The lemons and the dill are just really fragrant you know so uh man let's uh let's get a little piece of this fish here and i'm going right in the side there i'm one of those guys i like to use my fingers getting in here man so look at that man i'll tell you what that skin is just looking really good for us so uh man let's go for it all right all right guys, so hey, before I bite into this, y'all know how I do it, right? <laughs> so again, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you found some value in it, make sure you check out the videos like I got linked right here, as well as click that subscribe button up there, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video.